looking ahead. We expect steady LCD glass growth over the next several years, driven primarily by increasing screen size. For us, what matters is display viewing area, where LCD will remain predominant for the foreseeable future. Today, it accounts for 97% of display viewing area. OLED is only 3%, but OLED still interests us. To understand why, uh, you need to look at the display market by screen size. Large screens, so took from tablets to televisions, account for 93% of display viewing area. Within this segment, LCD technology accounts for 99%. Uh, LCD innovations for large screens continue to improve performance, reduce costs, and increase design freedom. Consequently, panel makers are investing in Gen 10 LCD fabs. Uh, that's why we expect LCD to remain the preferred technology in large screens for the foreseeable future. Small screens, such as smartphones, account for the remaining 7% of viewing area. And it's here that OLED has potential. As we predicted many years ago, OLED technology is gaining strength in this space because of power advantages and the potential for conformable and flexible displays. Today, OLED's share in the small screen space is 24%, and we expect that to double over the next several years. What people often don't realize is that glass utilization for OLEDs is basically the same as for LCDs. But the increasingly demanding manufacturing processes for flexible OLEDs creates the need for an even higher performance glass. Our Lotus NXD glass features exceptional thermal and dimensional stability to optimize the production of OLEDs. Lotus outperforms competitive options by a wide margin, and customers love it. In fact, Samsung recently selected Lotus for their flexible OLED production, which is now making display panels used in products like the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Although OLEDs are and will remain a very small portion of display viewing area, our leadership with Lotus means that small screen OLED growth is a positive for us.